was just going to share this into my playlist, but um, it, this story is so amazing to me that um, I, I, I have to interject. I have to, y'all. It's only 8.06 p.m. Um, let's go. So this is Vouch. Vouch. How do you pronounce your name? I'm so confused now that I just watched this. Let's go. I think it's Vouch, right? All right. How are you guys doing? Oh, my goodness gracious. Golly gosh. Uh, so much has happened. Wow. Wow. I used to have a faux hawk, too, when I was a teenager. I love that you're doing that. Let's go. Are you permanently banned from Twitch? Yes. Though the term they use is indefinitely banned. It'll probably be overturned at some point. Uh, I haven't filed an appeal yet because I think I'm just kind of enjoying the notoriety and the freedom of being off Twitch for a little bit. Uh, you know, well, I'll throw an appeal out there eventually. And I was set, you know, I was banned, of course, for saying the, the, the C word. The, uh... <laughs> Oh, that was such a great cut. That's such a great cut. The C word. You know, yeah, when I first started seeing the hashtags of this coming up, I absolutely thought they were referring to female anatomy. And I was like, what the hell are they even talking about? I had no idea that Cracker Barrel was a uh, dirty word to Twitch. Um, by the way, Vosh... I respect that your lines on your faux hawk are uneven because that clearly tells me that you do not trust going into the hair salon just yet. I'm right there with you. I've had one haircut since the pandemic started and I wore a mask the whole time and I was super nervous about it, but like I had been cutting my own hair the entire time and I really needed it to be straightened out. I get you. How do I even jump into this shit, man? Listen, okay? I will admit, I will actually admit, okay? I didn't expect to get banned for saying cracker. I thought the issue with Hassan was that he was calling people cracker over and over again in a deliberately derogatory way, you know? Where it wasn't the word itself that was the issue, it was the, the way in which he was saying it. Because I was thinking, like, they're not actually going to suddenly without any rule change oh gosh <laughs> are you assuming that these platforms are not moderated by ai i mean you're a smart guy you know this right like they literally put cracker on their word list and uh decided that anybody who says cracker is going to get banned facebook has done the same thing try saying um what is what's the expression? Because I, I know a lot of people who got banned for this. Um, men are trash. That's it. That's all you got to say. Men are trash on Facebook. And you will get an instant 24-hour ban. AI, dude. And start enforcing cracker as a bannable word. After years of it being completely ignored. But no, it actually was. Yeah, actually was. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you use it tactically or not, apparently. It's just, uh, do you even make much of your income off Twitch? I make no money off of Twitch. I am, though, a little confused, Twitch, how you're going to differentiate between, because I, I get that you're probably using some AI in this. How are you going to differentiate between me saying cracker as a slur versus I can't wait to have some brie cheese and crackers? How, like, how, how do you separate these things? I, I'm just, I'm not getting it. Uh, yeah, no, don't get me wrong. Consistency is great, okay? Cracker is a slur. I really do think, I'm not joking when I say that, okay? Um, however, I also think bitch is a slur. Are you going to ban everyone who says bitch, right? I mean. Oh, hell no, bitches. You better fucking not. <laughs> look, there's a lot of us, look. Every slur, every slur that's out there, like black people, they have the privilege to say the N-word. It is their word now. They own it. 
They can use it however they want it. Women get to say bitches, okay? Women get to say bitches. That's our word. We get we get that word. None of y'all get that word but us. We get that word. I can't even. And you know what? Uh, everybody in the world except for white people gets crackers. If for, I, I assumed it was because Hassan was forcing their hand and it was kind of like a fuck around find out situation. But maybe they really are going to start treating saying cracker like saying the N word, in which case that would be pretty dumb, I think, you know, uh, that would be that would be pretty fucking ridiculous. I just want to point out that every time we lead up to one of these dramatic moments, um, I seem to see the alternate network. The Jimmy Doors, the Nico Houses, the the Convo Couches, the Lauren Steiners, they all lead up with these arguments in advance to these uh, giant companies making these decisions. So I don't know if they are actually like lobbying them to influence them or if they are on somebody's payroll or what is happening. But I can I, I I'm literally just captured um, a, a tweet about Fiorella and Nico debating this exact topic just a couple of days ago and comparing um what was it oh it was comparing calling them nazis to using the n-word because the two of them it was those two specifically in that chat keep platforming Boogaloo boys and fascists and stuff. And the comparison was that calling them fascists or Nazis meant that we, in fact, were the fascists. Um, so this, this gaslighting behavior has been going on for a long time, and that's just the most recent example. Well, it's not the most recent example. I actually saw another tweet, um, I think today or yesterday, where somebody was uh, compared calling people Karens to you dropping the N-word. And in Lauren Steiner's case, it was either Lauren or one of her fan base compared using the term turf to dropping the n-word so this is gaslighting behavior it's like oh you can't be as offended as i am offended at your counter behavior that is way less significant than what you just did to me but i am going to be performative bullshit right now ridiculous um but i guess that's more or less in line with uh, with Twitch, Twitch was deleting Hassan's vods and clips to try to save him, but Hassan kept going. Ah, yeah, he's well, he baited it. Okay, he started the discourse. I've got man, it, it's turned into a firestorm. I got DMs from journalists asking interview questions. It's like, oh my god. Wait, though, vouch like okay, so Hassanabi mentioned something about having an account manager for his Twitch account. I imagine you're close to being on the same level, right? Um, so what is this business relationship you have with Twitch and what sort of conversations happened? Are they really as negligent as like, say Bank of America, where it's like, you have to like, keep asking for a supervisor above the supervisor in order to get anything done. Like what the hell happened here? You apparently have account managers if you're as important as you all are. So What's that relationship like? It's, it's like a whole thing. This is going to be. This is going to lead to like articles, you know, uh, mostly around Hassan, of course, the instigator of the uh, of you know the the, the content. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be on uh, New York Times. No, 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 no. Okay, listen up. Front page, New York Times. Okay, Azan. Weird champ. The next page. Voosh. That's that one really unflattering picture of me where I have one hand up like this, you know, like a, I feel like in that picture. So I'm just, I'm, I'm just asking because I'm, I don't watch you a lot. Is it Bausch or is it Boosh? 
I'm just curious. I'm I'm curious because I don't I don't really I don't watch you a lot, dude. I'm like you know I'm not really into the, these live stream things, but I keep getting sucked into it by all the people I know. It's so crazy. Make sure I look a little bit like like you know the Ayatollah. You know what I mean? Like I look a little bit like an imam, <laughs> like an angry one. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm proclaiming that like women can't be trusted to like inhale without a male's presence or something you know it was, it's, i guess that's the beard mostly uh anyway so we live oh yeah fawn also got uh got banned um yeah we we do have a uh is a phenomenally wacky situation going on at the moment i saw that hassan was on the majority report i'm not mad i'm not mad uh that i still haven't gone in the majority report Oh, God, I love this display of jealousy. That's kind of cute. Let's go. Be fair, you know, uh, j just in case you were wondering, I'm not. I, I, I saw some people saying, you know, maybe Vosh is mad that, you know, he hasn't had the opportunity to go on the majority report to talk to Sam Cedar, you know, one of his heroes. But I'm not mad. I don't know who's I don't know who's saying that. Uh, so I don't get it. I don't. Yeah, I, I saw this on. Um, I saw this on Vice, and I really don't appreciate it. Hassan Piker banned from Twitch for saying cracker. Notice how they can just say it out. Hold on. <laughs> Where is it? Where is the bit? Piker and his moderators are just three of the latest creators banned for saying the word cracker. Earlier this week, libertarian streamer Vosh, why would you do this to me? And they actually, I'm not joking, linked to the Discord thing of me saying the age of consent could have been 16 Back in Discord in 2018. That's actually not a joke. That's uh, this is this is real life. This is what I'm talking about. With like, I have a unique relationship with my anti fans. Okay, this is incredible stuff. I have literally, I have literally never seen. I think the right answer, though, Vash, is to be like, you know what? I've reconsidered that. <laughs> That might not have been the best idea. I was a little younger when I said that, so I was closer to that age. Um, I, you know, yeah, okay. There, there are things that we can be like, you know what, in hindsight, okay? You can be like, maybe that wasn't the best judgment. Uh, 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 anyone done this dirty? Yeah, the, like, uh, like it is, uh, to, just to be clear, it is incredibly funny. However, that is also insane. Wouldn't you agree? I would, I would, I would also think, like, legitimately, if it weren't for the fact that I'm general. No, dude, what's insane is actually having uh, this network send somebody to infiltrate your house and eat all your food. <laughs> And then put a smear campaign about you on YouTube. Because that literally fucking happened to me, dude. Um, yeah, these folks are motherfuckers. And apparently you're richer than me and you probably have more security around your home than you do. Than I do, right? Like, so, um, wow. I, I was like, hey, I got a room for rent. Oh, God, what a fucking mistake. I will never live with anybody ever again good humored about this that is incredibly fucked up little we we do a little bit of uh uh uh, uh you know a bit of libel as a joke i don't see the humor if it were me i just just shot myself uh well you know uh yeah the libertarian links to a discord screenshot that's that you're doing me dirty a little bit of smearing you know as a treat i wonder if i can find the twitter accounts of the two vice uh, journalists who put this out there. It's Gita Jackson and Matthew Galt. Let me see if I can... See, the thing is, most of the time, when people dislike me, that's like a big part of their personality. You know what I mean? That's like a big... That's a big part of who they are. That matters a lot to them. Okay? So I want to... Dislike or actually block? Because there's a difference between just not following you versus actually, like, blocking you, right? Um, you, because I think you're primarily a Twitter user, right? But I mean, that would be the same concept on Facebook, too. But I think a lot of you fellas don't use Facebook, right? See if, uh, gotta go through Galt first. What do we got? If I check the likes, 
Do you think he likes porn on his, like, business account? Nina Jackson did the hit piece and asked, You okay? It hurts. Be careful. Oh, damn, you monetize this fucker. No, it really hurts. God He's an it. SDL. Wait, really? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. It's unironically the, the, um, the fucking, these people, okay. The obsession revealed. All right, guys, it's okay. These people are probably not living their best lives. All right? Wait, Literal CIA that? agents, okay? These people are being torn up inside day after day. I wouldn't. Man, get in the SDL. I forgot that SDL got a whole goddamn Vice article. That's amazing. I like that. Wait, was that Soaked on Left in IRL? Yeah, so Soaked on Left's appearance isn't a secret. Yeah. about VDS brand there. Well, it's well to me, it's just the extraordinary pettiness, you know? Like, if they made an article where they said, like, Voosh, racist, pedophile, transphobe, Voosh, you know, then, okay, fine. You know, that, that, that to me, that feels, you know, uh, par for the course, uh, almost. But having an article which is totally unrelated, just completely, and then just referring to me as liberty, and then just linking to that. That is incredible stuff right there. Um, I think I will try to ask for a retract. Actually, no, hold on, wait. wait. Let's see if we can do this right now, mostly because it would inconvenience them. Uh, how, do you, how, how do you file a complaint? Uh, let me see. How do you, how do, you do that exactly? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever really done this before. I don't, I don't know, know what the process dude. is. Uh, let's see. It's in the text section. Uh, if I click on the text section, then yeah, it's right there. Four hours ago. Uh, here, how about I'll, I'll look on how to do that after stream because there might be a process emailing them, you know, whatever. Uh, and then we'll organize a camp. I don't know what the deal is with this particular article. But I can tell you that most social media platforms do not have an appropriate method of filing a defamation complaint. Um, unless you violate like their actual terms of service, which is mostly directed around special classes. And half of the time they don't even include all of the special classes. Like women, per se. Um and they they monitor it differently like white white men are not a special class y'all it's not a special fucking class <laughs> that's hilarious to me that you they they spend more time defending white men than any of the actual special classes but that's usually what they will base the TOS on and most of the time, they do not actually manage it that way. Let's go. Campaign of antipathy next stream. How about that? Slide into Vice's DMs. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll look into it. Yeah. Voosh, transphobic? Vouch? Pedophobic? Well, you're confusing the fuck out of me now. Is it, is it Vouch? Vosh? Voosh? What is it? Like, I don't even know how to pronounce your name now. I'll liberal. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Just trying to. It does have that energy. Uh, anyway, you know, we so so we have that. Uh, uh, that's been fun. Um, the racist. Who's Gita Jackson? Listen, remember, Abel is a mark. Everyone who dislikes me is mentally ill. Save you so much time. Why think about it? Why analyze? Ooh, maybe they dislike me for this particular... But no! They're unwell. Their brain chemistry is off. That's a simple... Simple as that, really. I don't understand why... Uh... I mean, that's some great escapism. Bosh, boosh, bosh. Um, obviously, it's not something we can do in real life because... Um, we're not, we're imperfect people, right? And sometimes we need feedback and to improve. But I get why you would like use that as an extreme example in a case where they're 
is this white supremacist bullshit going on that is cracking down on crackers. Why move? Uh, why move beyond that? Oh yeah, they didn't just link to that. They linked to the entire, uh, the whole hate thread. On see, it's like this huge. Yeah, yeah, it's one of them. I say the hate thread, but there are like four hundred of the. I mean, like th this happens every week, really. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll look at the contact page later. We'll follow up on this. Okay, it'll be it'll be a good meme. You know, it'll be a good one. Yeah, let's see. We have the Kotaku article. Hey, you know, I have a suggestion. What if we change the term to Triscuits? I still like Triscuits and Brie Cheese, but I'm cool with it being a dual meaning. Let's go. After Piker came to his mod's defense, he was also with a ban. Whether or not crackers should be bannable offense was catapulted into discourse, meaning streamers like Ian Vosh... Kochinski started using the term in their commentary on the controversy only to be banned for it. What? My my handle is Vosh. Nobody calls me Ian Kochinski. It's it's Vosh. That's whatever. I guess Hassan Piker is known as Hassan Piker because Hassan Piker goes by Hassan Piker, but I go by Vosh. They didn't call Fawn by their real... Whatever. Okay. <laughs> These journos. Yeah, the doxing. Can you believe it? Oh my god. The, uh, the doxing. They're coming for me. Yeah. Yeah, calling me by my full name, Fash Behavior. True. True. Dude, this same network of fucking assholes sent actual hate mail with fecal matter in it to my house. Be lucky that they don't know your address. Yeah, what are we... Yeah, we're using government names now? What are you, a fucking fed? Uh, 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 sir? Sir, uh, can you tell me about your perspective on the word cracker and also please give me your current address and full name? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, do you have any, uh, uh, contacts or friends in any other left-leaning groups? Uh, sir, I'm very interested. Fuck you. Get out of my fucking face. I'm the only informant here. <laughs> California is a free service to help. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very good at this. All right. Um, so I'm just watching this with peaked interest because I don't use Twitch but for one thing. The only thing I use Twitch for is to watch DJ Shaman. And so I didn't know that was like the primary platform for these fellas. Um I didn't know that was the thing. That that's where they were going to monetize. I find that just such a weird thing that people are making money by getting subscriptions on these platforms. That's very interesting to me because I don't understand how it's cheaper to be like, I'm going to listen to this one dude who doesn't really have a huge audience rather than actually get a cable subscription and have... 300 channels i i just i'm not um totally understanding the next generation of streaming i it's but i digress anyway uh those are my thoughts on what's happening right now with this whole cracker debacle <laughs>